Feel that energy? Now bring it right here. Hold it. What's up, Tusta Pro family? Positive energy coming to you from there, from here, and from there. Now today, I got a very special treat for y'all. We are going to be talking about something called the Miracle Equation. What is the Miracle Equation? First off, let's talk about what is a miracle. A miracle is something that doesn't usually happen and brings welcome consequences, right? And when we think of miracles, we think about something that, that is unnatural, something that is contrary to nature. But we need to start thinking, what do we know about nature? And what makes us think that we know that that is what nature is? What is natural and what is unnatural? Now, the miracle equation is unwavering faith and extreme effort equals miracle equation. So, unwavering faith plus extreme effort equals the miracle equation. It's gonna be a really short video, guys. Um, now, what is unwavering faith? Unwavering faith is believing, having the belief that whatever it is that you are asking the universe will come no matter what. No matter what happens, that specific thing that you want to happen or to obtain will happen. An example of unwavering faith in my life is my journey to self-improvement. Um, when I was in the Philippines, I was going to school, right? I, before I was a college graduate, I was going to school and I went to school for economics. It was a very tough, tough, tough subject. And there was times where I didn't think I would make it. Um, and I thought to myself, after college, what am I going to do? And I, it really, I really had a belief that after college, I would be something great. All throughout college and after college. So, I had this unwavering faith that everything that I wanted was coming to me. I had this belief that I am worthy of greatness. So what did I do, right? So that's my unwavering faith. I didn't always have the best body. I still don't. It's just a little better than before. Um, I never had a college degree. I never kept to my commitments. I never worked hard and, and was very consistent at anything I did. But having unwavering faith that I was going to be great fueled my next, the next part of the equation, which is extreme effort. Extreme effort is doing something over and over and over again consistently right every day without fail that is extreme effort so what does that mean for me so I was doing self-improvement right I when I was in the Philippines I started reading self-improvement books three books that helped me um, was positive thinking, the law of attraction, and fitness. This fitness book that I was reading. Now these were the three aspects of my life that I believed would help me become the best version of myself that I could be. So I started reading up on them. 
Um, positive thinking, when, when I was doing positive thinking, I really had not just to read it, but I had to implement it into my lifestyle. What does that mean? Positive thinking, um, turning negative thoughts into positive ones, making sure that I always say yes, right? Not being someone who says no. And turning, you know, questions, negative questions into how can I, not why. Not why, why isn't it like this? Why don't I have, um, you know, better grades? Why, why, why? You turn them to how. So you turn it into a positive thinking. You, t you turn it into solution-oriented thinking. We're looking for solutions now. When you ask how, how can I do this? And um, law of attraction. Law of attraction takes a lot of extreme effort. You really have to go into a meditative state where you're thinking about what you want. So first you ask for it. What do you want? Then you believe that it's coming. So you say, okay, th what I'm asking for, um, this new car, this college degree is coming. You actually believe it. And then you receive it. You act as if you already have it. And when I say you act as if you already have it, you internalize the feeling that you would have once that college degree comes to you. So I just internalized how it would feel once I had that college degree, which was grateful, happy, excited. And I would carry that with me throughout my day, which fueled every other thing that I did towards that specific goal. Okay? Now, the third was fitness. Working out every day, eating. I didn't always eat the best, right? I was in bulking phase when I was in the Philippines, so I was eating McDonald's, pizza. I was just stuffing my face, donuts. But I had a goal, which was, Josh, you need to gain weight. And I went, I went from 150 to 162, which I had never done. I'd never gotten to 162. I could barely break 154, but by eating, and having a goal and working out every day, lifting heavy. I even got a trainer. And that is how mo I know most of my things right now. Shout out Coach Lawrence. You know what I'm saying? You made me who I am today, physically. Taught me everything I needed to know. See now, that those are the steps that I took. And now, I know even more. Because I was doing extreme effort in the Philippines, I learned how to, how to put extreme effort here in the US. And doing it correctly, even, even better than I did in the Philippines. So when you put these, these, this mindset and these practices, these habits into play, you will become great. Now extreme effort doesn't mean just one or one day or two days or three days. It means a sustained period of time. We're talking months, years. Keep putting in the work and have faith that it will come. And I am telling you, one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna realize that all that hard work was for that exact moment that you were manifesting, that you have received. That's it for this video, y'all. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.